the palm of my hand. I will never forget you. I will not leave you orphan. I will never forget my own. Does a child within her womb. Yet even if these forget, yes, even if these forget, I will never forget my In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. My dear friends in Christ, good evening. Good evening, good evening Father. Father. From wherever you are and participating in this Mass, we are now celebrating the Lord's Supper. So this is the Mass of the Lord's Supper. So the three doom has started. So it is within this Mass that Jesus, our Lord and Savior, instituted the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. When he was celebrating his last supper with his disciples. As we could see, we can see from the symbols here, the washing of the feet to my left, and then also the symbol of the bread and the grapes, symbolizing the Eucharist. So my friends, this evening, as we gather here, and as you participate from your homes in this Mass of the Lord's Supper, let us pray in a special way for the world, especially during this time of the coronavirus crisis, that there may be a cure and that life may return again to normality. In a special way in this Mass, we are praying for all of you, the parishioners of St. Francis Xavier Frankston 
and St. John the Evangelist, Franston East. That this special celebration of the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus may touch your lives in a special way, may bring healing, hope, joy, and restoration in your lives. So today, during the Gloria, we are going to ring the bell for a while, and then we stop as a reminder of the Last Supper of Jesus. So to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us pause and be mindful of our sins. Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Amen. So now we are going to sing the Gloria. Let us pray. O oh God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love, grant, we pray, 
that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month is to be the first of all the others for you. The first month of your year, speak to the whole community of Israel and say, On the tenth day of this month, each man must take an animal from the flock, one for each family, one animal for each household. If the household is too small to eat the animal, a man must join with his neighbor. The nearest to his house has the number of person requires. You must take into account what each can eat in deciding the number for the animal. It must be an animal without blemish, a male one year old. You must take it from either the sheep or goats. You must keep it till the 14th day of the month when the whole assembly of the community of Israel shall slaughter it between the two evenings. Some of the blood must then be taken and put on the two doorposts uh, door and the lintel of the house where it is eaten. That night the flesh is to be eaten, roasted over the fire. It must be eaten with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. You shall eat it like this with a girdle round your waist, sandals on your feet, a staff in your hand. You shall eat it hastily. It is a Passover in honor of the Lord. That night I will go to the land of Egypt and strike down all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, man and beast alike, and I shall deal out punishments to all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. The blood, will, the blood shall serve to mark the houses that you live in. When I see the blood, I will pass over you and you shall escape the destroying plague when I strike the land of Egypt. This day is to be a day of remembrance for you and you must celebrate it as a feast in the Lord's honor. For all the generations you are to declare, it is a day of festival forever. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. The second reading, 
a reading from the first letter of St. Paul's to the Corinthians. This is what I received from the Lord and in turn passed on to you, that on the same night that he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread and thanked God for it and broke it. And he said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this as memorial of me. In the same way, he took the cup after supper and said, this cup is a new covenant in my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this as a memorial of me. Until the Lord comes, therefore, every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are proclaiming his death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to Lord. It was before the festival of the Passover and Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to pass from this world to the Father. He had always loved those who were his in the world, but now he showed how perfect his love was. They were at supper and the devil had already put it into the mind of Judas Iscariot son of Simon, to betray him. Jesus knew that the Father had put everything into his hands and that he had come from God and was returning to God. And he got up from table, removed his outer garment, and taking a towel, wrapped it round his waist. He then poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel he was wearing. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, At the moment you do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. Never, said Peter. You shall never wash my feet. Jesus replied, If I do not wash you, you can have nothing in common with me. Then, Lord, said Simon Peter, not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus said, No one who has taken a bath needs washing he is clean all over. You too are clean, though not all of you. He knew who was going to betray him. That was why he said, though not all of you are. When he had washed their feet and put on his clothes again, he went back to the table. Do you understand, he said, what I have done to you? You call me Master and Lord, and rightly, so I am. If I then, the Lord and Master, have washed your feet, you should wash each other's feet. I have given you an example 
so that you may copy what I have done to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is good. All All the time. time. And all the time. The The Lord Lord is good. good. My dear people of God, Christ fulfilled his work of redeeming humanity and giving perfect glory to God, especially by his Paschal mystery. Dying, he destroyed our death, and rising, he restored our life. And so the Easter triduum of the Lord's passion and resurrection is the climax of the whole liturgical year. It begins with this evening mass of the Lord's Supper continues with the Lord's Passion on Good Friday, a day of fasting and abstinence, and reaching its climax with the Easter Vigil, the Mass of the Resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In this evening Mass, we commemorate the institution of the Eucharist. Jesus, while he was eating with his disciples tonight, took bread and gave thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similarly, when supper was ended, he took the chalice filled with wine, and having given thanks, said, Take it, all of you, and drink. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Jesus did many good works. He healed the sick. He he raised the dead. He fed the hungry. He consoled he consoled people and so on and so forth. He, as I said, he did lots of many good deeds, many good works. But only once, not twice, only once. Did he say, do this in memory of me? This was after instituting the sacrament of the Eucharist. Each time we celebrate the Eucharist, we relieve the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. If you take out the Eucharist from the church, that church ceases to be a Catholic church. Today, too, we commemorate the institution of the ministerial priesthood. Myself and Father Jude here share in this ministerial priesthood in a special way, and also Deacon Kevin. Because we have three stages, deacon, the priest, and the bishops. Every baptized Christian 
share in the common priesthood of the faithful. All of us. It is among those who have been called and consecrated by the Holy Spirit in the waters of baptism that God chooses some to step down, not to step up, but to step down to the office of the ministerial priesthood. Because the priesthood is never a step up, but a step, a step down to service, to serve the people of God. Just like Jesus who came not to be served, but to serve. Central to the life of a priest is the celebration of the sacraments. Today, too, we celebrate the Lord's commandment to love one another, which is usually commemorated in the washing of the feet as symbolized over there by water and towel. We imitate Christ who came not to be served, but to serve and to offer his life as a ransom for many. However, this year, because of the extraordinary circumstance of the coronavirus, the washing of feet ceremony shall be omitted. The crazy mass has not taken place. Normally by now, on Tuesday of the Holy Week, we normally celebrate the crazy mass, but not this year. Hence, we do not have the sacred oils blessed by, the, by our Archbishop, Peter Comensoli. Our Archbishop has indicated that blessing of the oils will be the first major event to bring the people of the Archdiocese of Melbourne together again when the crisis of the coronavirus is over. The oils are used for the administration of the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and anointing of the sick. This year, because of the lockdown of churches, and the suspension of the public celebration of the liturgy, we have been instructed not to prepare an altar of repose. At the end of this Mass, after 10 minutes of adoration, to honor the injunction of Jesus to his disciples that they should keep awake and watch that they do not fall into temptation. The blessed sacrament shall be reposed in the tabernacle in the sanctuary. The altar shall then be stripped by the priest and deacon to demonstrate that the sober moment of the church has begun until Christ rises on Easter Sunday. The Lord is God. All the time. And all the time. The Lord is good. And I invite you at home to pause and reflect for two minutes on the celebration of the Easter Triduum, especially the celebration of the Last Supper of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which we are celebrating this moment. Father Almighty, 
creator of heaven and earth, Jesus Christ, his only Son, Holy Spirit, Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, crucified and was buried, ascended into heaven, and sent into, into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there you shall come to join the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. On the night before his death, Jesus sat at table with his disciples. Gathered to reenact that sacred supper, let us join Christ and pray to the Father for all our needs. For the church on earth, that we may be guided to a greater understanding of the perfect love and service of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. For those in positions of power and influence in the world, that they may understand something of the spirit of Christ's sacrifice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. us. For those confronted by temptation, that they may be strengthened by Christ's example of loyalty to the Father, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Pray for all of us in this community, that more and more we may reflect in our lives the Eucharistic love of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. hear us. Let us pray for the sick, for all those in our nation suffering from the coronavirus virus, for all those medical people striving to bring good health to those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. And for the dead, especially those across the nation who have died of the virus, that the sacrifice of the Eucharist may bring them to eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, we come before you and present our needs to you, humbled by the Eucharistic love and the generosity of your Son, our eternal priest, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
Pray, my friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate wordly in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as a serving victim, commanding us to make the offering as his memorial as we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. With a third acclamation, let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When Save us, Savior of the world, of the world for by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set, set us, us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring out the fullness of charity, together with Francis Harpo, Peter Harpo Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our mother's spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Francis Xavier, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit the chorus eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At our Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy, thy kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all useless distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the, kingdom, in the kingdom and the, and the power of the glory, glory forever. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. And wherever we are, let us share a sign, a gesture of peace to those here and around us. Lamb of, Lamb God. of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Lord. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And now I invite all of you, wherever you are, in your homes, in the streets, to now share in the spiritual, spiritual communion. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And may the blessings and protection of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be, be to, God. to God. So now uh, we shall have 10 minutes of adoration here. And then after that, I shall put back the blessed sacrament uh, inside the tabernacle. 
You can play the final hymn, please.